Morning, guys. I'm having my meal number one of the day. It's my favorite meal to have. It's my easiest meal. I mean, all my meals are kind of easy because I food prep, but it's like the one I look forward to the most because I feel like I'm being bad. So I start my day being naughty. But, and now I read some of my book this morning before going live. Um, and I had a passage, I read a couple chapters. I only have a couple more chapters left. I'm going to read a little bit more while Ryan is getting some schoolwork done before I bring him to school. And I read this passage at the very beginning of my reading this morning and I folded the page over because I wanted to share it with everybody because it got it's so spot on and so, so true. Like, have you ever been in a relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a family, you know, a sibling or a cousin or whatever, or a marriage or just a significant other, maybe not married. Good morning, Mom. Where, you know, it's a lot of negativity. It's a lot of, um, like a lot of stress, a lot of worry all the time, things like that, right? Let me move my drink off to the side. So this passage was so spot on because it's like, it's so true. And I remember saying this when my divorce was starting, like, you know, it's, it's almost a blessing in disguise type thing. Like you're going through a hard time, but it's for a good purpose. So I wanted to read this passage to you so we could chat about it a little bit. I said, if somebody is not treating you with love and respect, it is a gift if they walk away from you. Good morning, Aim. If that person doesn't walk away, you will surely endure many years of suffering from him or her. Walking away may hurt for a while, but your heart will eventually heal. And then you can choose what you really want. You will find that you don't need to trust others as much as you need to trust yourself with making the right choice. How freaking spot on is that? So this book is about the four agreements. And it's basically showing you how... Like little things you learned growing up was an agreement in your mind. Hey, Jules. Um, hey, Ivory. And, you know, you live by those agreements. It's basically your beliefs. So this particular chapter with that passage in it, um, I'm trying to see. Don't Take Anything Personally was the name of that chapter. Um, and then I just also read Don't Make Assumptions. Um, so that passage was so spot on because there's so many times... And for those of you that are just hopping on and you didn't hear me read the passage, you'll have to go back and watch the replay. But it's about people walking away. And a lot of times that's a gift. Like, have you ever heard, like, you know, don't stress it. It's a blessing in disguise. And the reason why people say that is because if that person is stressing you out so much and that person is bringing you down so much and that person is just like, you're trying to get up. And they're just pushing and pushing and pushing on the top of your head because they're not letting you get up. And that person finally walks away. Oh my God, you need to praise the Lord because you have been freed. You have been released. Um, and you are able to figure out who you are and live by that. And God, that's such a gift. Like, if I ever have the opportunity to actually speak to my ex-husband, I would love to thank him. Thank you for wanting to leave. Because... When that happened, and it was a really dark place in my life, it was really hard for me to not have my kids around. It was really hard for me to really soul search. It was hard for me to be alone. But you know what? Going through all of that and all of that happening, that's how I became this person. That's how I became somebody that I'm proud of. That's how I became strong. Maybe I was strong the whole time, but that's when I learned my strength. Um, so, you know, I would love to say <clears throat> thanks. <laughs> thank you for giving me the greatest gift besides the two children that I have. But thank you. Exactly. Or you removing yourself is a gift too. Because a lot of times you disconnecting and removing yourself. Hold on one second. Ryan, are you up? Okay. You removing yourself 
from the situation is you giving yourself the gift as well. Because either way, whether they leave or whether you remove yourself, neither one is easy to do or easy to go through. Either one is going to be difficult. Either one is going to give you stress. It's going to give you sleepless nights. It's going to give you to where you may not be able to keep food down or may not want to eat at all. All of those things are going to happen. However, you're going to get through it. You're going to be a stronger person. It's just, you know, sometimes I look back when all of that happened to me. Because right when I read that passage about people leaving, that was the first thing I thought of was my failed marriage. Um, and then I have to look back at not with it as so much of a failure, but as that was my learning marriage. <laughs> that was my learning experience of who I didn't want to be, the wife I didn't want to be. Um, there were some things I did like about myself then, and I'm still that type of person. Um, but it was a lot of learning. And it took until, you know, me getting back on my feet. Hey, babe. And me doing what I needed to do to and learn who I was and be by myself and be alone with my kids and really bond with them and not have somebody else tell me what I should and shouldn't do with my children. You know, it took until then to learn who I was. So I didn't really know me until my 30s. You know, and a lot of people think, you know, if this happens to them and they're real, they're older, like in their 30s or their 40s and people walk away and you have to start life all over, that it's too late. And I'm here to tell you it's never too late. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to change something. It's never too late to make tweaks. There are always tweaks to be made in everything in life and with everyone because no one and nothing is perfect. There was always, always, always room for improvement with everything in life. Um, and until you realize that and until you figure that out, you're going to be stuck. And this passage that I read to you this morning, and I love this book. If nobody's read it, read it. When I posted that I was reading this book, I had so many people like, oh my God, you're going to love it. It's such a great book. It's awesome. It really is great. And it really is a, it's an eye opener and a mind opener. And I love you, Amy. Um, and until you realize that when people leave, it's not personally on you. They're not leaving because of you. And they're not leaving because of who you are or what you've done or whatnot. It's them. They are having issues or maybe they know that you're too good for them or whatever the issue may be. Just remember, it's not you. When people are rude to you or people are bad mouthing or whatever it may be, many of the times it's because of themselves. I hope that makes sense. Um, so just know that them walking away or like Amy said, you removing yourself those are gifts, awesome gifts, because it's when, oh, this is my, my superfood, sorry guys, somebody on Instagram is asking what I'm drinking. This is my superfood shake that I drink every morning. It's my vitamins, my nutrients, my probiotics, 70 plus superfoods. I call this activating my superpowers. It's got everything in here that my body needs. I start every day with it. As you notice, you'll see me on my lives all the time. And if you watch my story around 7 a.m., I'm making this bad boy. Um, I like to make a nice big glass of it. And then I do my workout after I drop my son off. Um, but it is, it's my fave. This has been the staple of me making a nutrition change and a healthier lifestyle change for the last five years. So, so back to what we were talking about. So when other people leave us, Instead of taking it personally and being like, oh my God, what did I do wrong? Like, what, am I, I'm, I wasn't good enough. And Because trust me, I went through all of that. Lots and lots of self-doubt. So instead of going right to the self-doubt, we need to look at it as a gift. Thank them for leaving. Look at it as a gift. Look at it as something to be thankful for. And then maybe look at it like, God, I hope they figure out whatever they're going through. When you start to get that mindset, it will get a little bit easier. I've had many, many people leave. People still leave. I uh, many, many people leave in the past. Um, I lost a lot of friends during my divorce or people that I should say I thought were my friends because if they were my friends, I wouldn't have lost them. 
You are very welcome. Um, it's not it's not easy to go through when people leave and you're going to have a lot of self-doubt. And uh, how long have you been a Leo? Um, but if you take the self-doubt out of it and you take taking it personal out of it, you notice it's a whole new reasoning. Um, but like I said, you know, I, I thought these people were my friends. Obviously they weren't if I lost them just because of a divorce. Like, we can still be friends. I don't have to be with this person for us to be friends. So I learned a lot about people, a lot about myself. Um, and then on top of that, I, I learned this, that it was a blessing in disguise. It was a gift of them not being in my life anymore. Um, you know, the people that I thought were my friends, the people that I thought I could count on when I needed them the most, they weren't there. Um, and that's how I knew who my true friends were because those are the ones that were still there. And um, so 15 years, 15 plus years, wow. Okay, so where, oh, Blue Blood. Do you like the Blue Blood show, obviously? That's one of me and my husband's favorite shows. My grandma got us hooked on that show. Um, so where are you a police officer at? Um, sorry, I'm having like two totally different conversations here. So it's very, very important to not take it personal. Um, I still have people leave. I have people leave my business. Um, and they decide to do a different business or decide to not be in a healthy lifestyle anymore. And a lot of times when that happens, they stop talking to me on a friend level. As sad as it is, I can't take it personal because it's that's not on me. If I'm still reaching out and I'm still trying to chat and I'm still trying to be friends and they don't meet me halfway, then that action has to tell me something, right? So you have to not take it personal. Take the personal feelings out of a lot of situations. Because once you have emotions involved, nothing, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So you've got to, got to, got to take the personal out. Look at it as a blessing and a gift. So I have a call to action for you. If, whoop, as I throw my book that I was just going to show you, if you're not reading this book or listening to this book on like an audio version, try to find it. It's been very, very helpful to me. Um, I'm actually going to try to read some more because I know my son has to do a little bit of homework before school today. So I'm going to read um, while he does that. Well, thank you for your service, Blue Bloods. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get another chapter, maybe try to finish the book. It's not that big of a book. I should be done by now, but I did put it off for a little bit and not read. Um, but it's very, very important to understand how this works. This mind of ours is cray cray. And we need to understand how it works in order to get through every day without going cray cray. So my call to action to you is to either dial in to me each day because I'm always gonna be giving you some feedback and something I learned from my personal development or get into listening or reading a book every day to help yourself through day to day life. Life is not easy, there's gonna be turmoil, there's gonna be triumphs, and you've got to find ways to get through that. So remember, if somebody leaves or you remove yourself from a situation, it is a very big gift. Be grateful for it, be thankful for it, and just move on. Don't dwell, don't think about it too much, don't waste too much time on it. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you later. Bye.